this is casino rum in alcohol and just to tell you I purchased this from the market and probably this is from Mandawe City, Cebu, Philippines and this is being made by International Pharmaceuticals Incorporated now why I am showing this to you I purchased this at Nine hum so if you're going to multiply it by peso it is more than a hundred pesos and why it costs like that because of course this is for us who are OFW here this is important products one of the important products that we are consuming or uh, purchasing because we need this why the cost is that much because in every product and services that you are buying there is a markup price and that so each and every company is observing having an allowance they have been given the privilege so that there is continuity in their business to put markup on it similarly the companies also have other expenditures so we are going deeper right now we are going to discuss about the company's additional expenditures we call it overhead cost in the last series that I had I shared with you about accounts expense because each and every expenditure have a specific account title and we understand that accounts expense normally depletes the resources of a certain company so it is better that up to this time we already have identified the accounts expense of a certain company and right now another expenditure that we are going to consider are overhead cost what really are overhead cost we need to understand that in this video in today's episode, we are going to explore overhead costs. Our reference is from Shopify.com. What are overhead costs? Let's break this down into three parts. We have to define what overhead cost is. We are going to give you a specific example. And number three, we are going to identify the types of overhead cost just for the review we have to define it we have to give you examples and we have to identify the types of overhead overhead cost often referred to as overhead or operating expenses it refers to those expenses associated with running a business that can be linked to creating or producing a product or service they are the expenses the business incurs to stay in the business regardless of its success level. Overhead costs are all of the costs on the company's income statement except for those that are directly related to manufacturing or selling a product or providing a service. For example, a potter's clay and potting wheel are not overhead cost because they are directly related to the products being made. The rent for the facility where the potter creates is an overhead cost because the potter pays rent whether she's creating product or even staying idle, especially during this pandemic. We are done with the definition and we have illustrated it. Let's provide examples. A company's overhead cost depend on the nature of the business. A retailer's expenses will be different from a repair shop or a crafter's. Of course, typical examples are number one, rent. In the illustration, it is showing buildings number two utilities and this comes every month insurance this is coming every year 
salaries that aren't job or product specific. Office equipment such as computers or telephones. And office supplies. We are done giving you with the specific examples. Let's, let's move on now to the types of overhead cost. We have fixed overhead. We have variable overhead. We have semi-variable overhead. We have administrative overhead. Lastly, we have selling overhead. Fixed, variable, semi-variable, administrative, and selling overheads. These are the types of overhead overheads, and we are going to define it one by one. Fixed expenses are the same every month, such as rent. There are other companies that's, that is renting software. And of course, they are renting the buildings for their operation variable cost either increase or decrease depending on how busy the business is this could include utilities and or wages for certain employees that is true especially if they are providing overtime just to increase the production number three semi-variable costs are those that are incurred regardless of the activity level but which might increase as the business gets busier so it means there is no fixed increase or decrease it is semi-variable for example an accountant always use the printer toner but might use more of it in the first quarter of the year when preparing and printing tax forms for clients Number four, administrative overheads. It usually includes expenses in relation to basic administration and general business operations, such as salary of accountants or receptionists to so those that are supporting the company's operation. We call it administrative overheads. Number five, selling expenses. Expenses or overhead. Such expense includes cost for marketing the products or services such as television commercials, printed materials, and more. It is important to monitor overhead costs because they are not directly related to revenues. They can drain a business unnecessarily when not properly controlled. The classic small business example of unnecessary overhead is the startup entrepreneur who rents office space in a trendy location for an operation that could be home-based until growth requires more room for staff and equipment. The money spent on the rent might be better invested in an advertising or promotion for the new unknown business. Thank you guys for watching. And this is our topic for today, overhead cost.